So today's workshop is going to allow you all some time to actually begin writing your essays and drafting. I know that some of you have already begun. And if so, we would like you to continue. You're on great progress. For those of you who have not begun writing, today will be a good opportunity for you to begin. If not your draft, then some of the brainstorming that you should have already started or should continue to write. So with that said, let us get started today with the workshop. Um, so my first slide is for you all to start to think about some questions that you may have that we have not had a chance to answer so far. Are there any questions that have been unanswered throughout this workshop series that you have regarding college essays? Okay, Shanice, you said no. No questions. Okay, we'll continue with this slide. So like I said, today's workshop is going to be a little bit different. Some of you have already begun writing your essays and that is great. Today, I'm giving you all the space to actually write. So I know that it may be difficult for you to find time to write, especially because you work through exams. And on top of that, you have actual homework assignments for your other classes that you're taking right now. So today is gonna to be a unique opportunity for you all as we're sitting here at our computers or by our paper uh, to begin working on your college essay, your personal statement. So. In order for us to do this, um, some of you have already started outlining and brainstorming, which is great. Um, a few sessions back, we actually did some outlining and brainstorming. And those are things you can carry on and you should carry on with your personal statement if that format of writing is helpful for you. I'm going to go through the prompts and the personal statement one more time, just so we have a refresher as to the questions that we should be responding to in your personal statements. Can I get someone to read the first, second, and third prompts? Can I get a volunteer to read uh, the first three prompts? Thank you, Sabine. Um, the first one, some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If it sounds like you, then please share your story. The lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback, or failure. How did it affect you? And what did you learn from the experience? Number three, reflect on a time when you questioned or challenged a belief or idea. What prompted your thinking? What was the outcome? Thank you so much. Can I get a different volunteer to read prompts number four, five, and six? Shanice? Reflect on something that someone has done for you that has made you happy or thankful in a surprising way. How has this gratitude affected or motivated you? Number five, discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of yourself or others. Six, describe a topic, idea, or concept you find so engaging that it makes you lose all track of time. Why does it captivate you? What or who do you turn to when you want to learn more? Thank you. Thank you for that. And the final prompt is share an essay or on a topic of your choice. It can be one you've already written or one that responds to a different prompt or one of your own design. 
So remember for your personal statement, you choose only one of these prompts and that's what you write on. And this is what is sent to the admissions office at the school and they will review this plus the rest of your application. So for you today, you're going to actually be writing. Now, I know it's a big task, but we've gone through the writing process already. So remember the first steps of the writing process are to brainstorm and outline. Well, the next step is just to start drafting. So I'm giving you all the space now to begin drafting. I'm actually gonna share in the chat box the earlier activity if you never did the brainstorming. Hopefully you all did your brainstorming, but if you never had a chance to do that, I'll share those activities as a document in the chat box. For everyone else, I would like you to take today's time to work on your essay. Are there any questions as to the assignment we're doing right now? Okay, uh, Shanice. Um, my question is, uh, we're going to choose one of the topics here and write about it. Yes, so remember your personal statement is going to come from one of these prompts and you're going to write about this. You've already looked at these prompts before and when you brainstormed an outline and I'll share the document for brainstorming and outline in the chat box in just a moment. But yes, so you're gonna take one of these prompts and you're going to write on it. And this will be your personal statement, your response to this, to the question. I do not expect you all to finish this today and then our time, but this is an opportunity for you to actually begin to write. 